Hello, welcome to Fit Tuck. I'm Dr. Nandita Shah and I'm the founder of Sharan and you're with Eat Right with Sharan. Now, did you know that we can reverse almost any lifestyle disease just through food? Did you know that our body always works to heal? Ever since we're young, whenever we have a little problem, we go to the doctor and take a medicine. But that's not really good because the medicine is like a bandage. It covers up the problem. It hides the symptoms, but it doesn't really get us well. And this is especially true for lifestyle diseases, but also true for other diseases. And we're going to talk a little bit about this today. For example, how do we know that our body always heals? Because if you get a fracture, the only thing that the doctor can do is take the bones and put them together so that they don't rub against each other and the body heals. No doctor can heal a fracture, only the body can heal it, right? If you get an injury, what can the doctor do? He can take stitches and put the skin together or he can put a bandage, he can clean up the wound but only the body heals. And actually, if you get a fever, the body heals. You don't need any medicine. We usually go to the doctor and take a medicine to bring down the fever. But do you know why our body raises the, uh, the temperature? Because it's just as when we boil water. Why do we boil water? To kill bacteria. Our body raises the temperature so that the bacteria cannot multiply. And this is actually a service to help us get rid of the fever. Because why have we got the fever? Because we have some germs in our body and our body is fighting those germs by producing antibodies against it and raising the temperature so that those germs cannot multiply. And if we leave our body alone, not only will the fever come down, but we will have antibodies and resist the next bout of such a infection. Now, when I, when I practice medicine, I see many times that patients come again and again with the same problem. Tonsillitis again and again, sinusitis again and again. Why are they getting it again and again? Because they've been prescribed antibiotics. You got sinusitis, take an antibiotic, the sinusitis will go because the antibiotic kills the bacteria. But antibiotic is not selective. It also kills so many other cells, like all the good bacteria in our intestines. And after that, we don't digest well, we don't feel like eating, so many other problems occur, right? But if you don't take that antibiotic, then you can get well just by allowing your body to do its work. What will your body do? It will create antibodies against the germ. It will create a fever so the germ can't multiply. And once the germ goes away with the fight with the antibodies, the fever will come down itself and you don't need to do anything. But if you go to a doctor and you take some medicine to bring down the fever, then the germs multiply and then you need an antibiotic. And then the antibiotic kills all the bacteria and then you need a probiotic and so on and so forth. It doesn't make sense, right? Because our body is always working to heal. Now, our body also works to heal by giving us symptoms. For example, if you have a pain, say you have a headache, your body is trying to tell you something. Your body may be telling you that you've not drunk enough water and that's why the blood is getting thick. We always get pain when there's not enough blood flow to the part and not enough oxygenation to the part. Just like when you don't get enough oxygen to your heart, you get angina or heart attack, which is pain. If you don't have enough blood flow to your head, you get a headache. And so what can you do? You can drink some more water to make the blood thinner and breathe deeply. And then if your body still needs more time, you give it rest. You know, our body can work best to heal when we are resting and not eating. And our body tells us that. For example, when you get fever, do you feel like eating? No. Your body tells you at that time, 
I don't want to do anything and don't put anything in your mouth. But your mother may come and say, eat a little bit, thoda to kha le, right? Now, this is not correct because our body is always wiser than our mothers, our doctors, our friends, anybody because only the body knows what's happening. And so if your body says take rest and don't eat, the reason it's saying don't eat is so that it won't have to digest. And the body heals the maximum when you take rest. Like have you ever noticed that sometimes a fever is higher in the evening but then goes down by morning because you slept all night, right? So body heals during rest. So whenever we get any problem, rest, eat according to hunger. If your body says don't eat, even fasting is good. Hmm? And then uh, don't take any medicines, but listen closely to your body and your body will tell you just what you need to do. So going back to pain. We talked about headache and one of the reasons could be that the blood is becoming thick and you can drink some more water. Or if you have back pain, again it's because the blood is not reaching there. Why is the blood not reaching there? Because the arteries may have become blocked. How did the arteries become blocked? By eating too much fat and less fiber. So how can we relieve this pain in the long run? Now if you have a back pain, backache and you take painkillers then the pain may go and you may be able to do everything and that's very bad because if you can't if you do everything if you make all the movements your back doesn't have time to heal if you stop moving your back will heal so your back produces pain to make you lay down so that it can heal we have to learn to listen to our body and The pain is because we are not getting enough blood supply because there is too much fat in our food and less fiber and this is common with everyone's food these days. There is oil floating on top, we eat lots of fried things and then we eat animal products and all animal products are full of fat. Boiled chicken fat on top, boiled fish fat on top, boiled milk fat on top. It's all full of fat. but. If we take out animal products or minimize them and take out all the oil and fat in our diet or replace it with healthy fats like coconut or peanuts or sesame rather than refined fats like coconut oil and peanut oil and sesame oil then with the help of the fiber in these whole foods the fat which is accumulated in our body actually gets swept out by making the blood thinner, by holding on to the fat and throwing it out. And over a period of time, by taking rest and allowing the pain to heal and by not adding any more fat to our diet, we can get rid of those pains too, right? So our body is always talking to us. Like for example, If you have diarrhea, then what does your body tell you? I've got pain, I don't feel like eating or maybe I should eat something very light. See, your body is your own best doctor. Your body told you just what to do. And if you follow that prescription, you will be well, right? But if we take medicines, suppose we take something to stop the uh, motility of the bowels right to reduce the diarrhea then those germs which were causing the diarrhea get accumulated in our body and over a period of time the infection which the body was trying to throw out gets stuck it doesn't work right and you know all the animals in nature know how to heal themselves and so do we so let's start listening to our body always Thank our body for producing symptoms. It's the body's way of speaking to us. Listen, follow and get well. Medicines are rarely required. And medicines can be very helpful in cases of severe infections because antibiotics can kill the infection. 
but all medicines are a double edged sword because medicines always have side effects right even antibiotics have side effects and so if we can start tuning into our body eating when we are hungry drinking when we are thirsty resting when we are tired and following the guidelines of our body we can be healthy all the time i wish you perfect health and if you like this episode don't forget to tune in to more episodes of eat right with sharan